Hello and welcome to Game to Train. My name is Jules. This is the Starfield workout, the first of its kind. Welcome. This is going to be super fun. I had lots of fun designing this particular workout. Uh, just make sure that you're stretched or warmed up before we get going. These are all new moves. I'm really excited to bring this to you. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really fun little workout. Sorry. It's always good to check what's going on. Um, okay, so as always, it's 10 moves, 30 seconds explanation, 30 seconds of work. Uh, and then we do that twice, so there's two rounds of that. So it's 20 minutes. You can definitely do 20 minutes. Right, so the first move for today is called Got A Jet. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing fast feet, which is where a little jog forward on the spot like this. And then we're going to do little jetpack boosts of one, two, three. So do eight of these and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Remember, keep on the balls of your feet, keep really light. Okay, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I don't mind whether it's exactly eight or not, just roughly is fine. And then one, two, three. And remember to really sink down in the knees. Yeah, you have to, I mean, you go really high if you want to. I'm working out on a really hot day. This is a huge error, but. <laughs> It's important to capture these things. Okay, come on, nearly done. Just a few more seconds. Okay, good job. Right, we're well on our way. Here we go. Um, the next one is persuasion. I love this because, well, I don't think I understand how this works yet in the game, but the move, I do understand. Okay, right. So what we're going to be doing is effectively begging. <laughs> um, that's what usually happens. So we're going to do feet together. We're going to lunge forward like so. And then we're going to please, please, and then come back. And then change leg. Please, you have to believe me. I really need that whatever spacesuit. Um, so what you can do with these is make sure you're starting lunging down. Go as low as you can. It makes it more fun if you do the hand gesture. Not going to lie. Um, otherwise, it just feels like you're doing boring lunges, which who wants to do that? Oh, please, please, you have to let me in there and get that, steal that spacesuit from that guy. Why not? Come on, please. I beg you. I beg you. I really don't understand how the persuasion system works yet. Because uh, I try and do what I would do, and it always goes wrong. And then I guess, and it's right. Don't understand. Anyway. Next one. Actually, you will know this move, some of you, from before, but this is basically every Bethesda game. It's called Over Encumbered. <laughs> Story of all of our lives. So you want it slightly more than shoulder width apart, toes slightly outwards. We're going to come down into a squat. So remember, like, back is flat, not like this, not like that. Um, and we're going to hold on to our stuff, and off we go. And it's our own fault for stealing all the things. Okay, here we go. Now, remember, as always with this, you can go super low and make it really hard. But if you're just starting out, you can start. I mean, this is hard enough, frankly. My legs are already tired, and this is the first <laughs> workout I've done today. OK, a couple more seconds. Woohoo! OK, good job. Ugh, I can't believe I was like, I should design a new move. I was like, it's just the same move. It's Bethesda. It's over encumbered. We're all over encumbered. Um, also, how I learned what that word was, was from Bethesda games. I was like, why can't I move? I don't understand. Uh, next one is touch the artifact. We're all looking for those artifacts. Um, <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to bend down, touch the artifact. And as you know in the game, when you touch the artifact, you basically just go a bit, have a basically sort of like some sort of ethereal moment. So you're going to touch the artifact. And then what I want you to do is very slowly like back on the ground uh, and then get back up again. Because basically, you've just totally spaced out and had some sort of vision. All right, so we're going to touch the artifact, then slowly lie on your back, and then get back up again, OK? You can switch arms to touch the artifact should you want to. Doesn't really matter. The work is actually on the standing back up bit, really. So touch the artifact. Oh my god, I'm having a vision. Ah. OK, fun, right? <laughs> OK, next one, lockpick. I, um, I need some weights for this. Um, <laughs> If you don't have like weights at homes, use cans, use whatever you've got like around. I'm terrible at this. Um, I call it a dad lift, which is basically where my channel completely smashed me doing this. It was outrageous. So this is probably even too heavy for me. But what you're going to do is you're basically going to hold these out and see if you can turn the locks for 30 seconds. Oh my god. 
I can't. I'm already really sweaty. So you're going to need a, probably a lightweight, unless you're a father or have been a father uh, and have toddlers. I don't know why it's father or mother, obviously, as well. Um, a parent is what I'm trying to say, because this is basically the child um, workout. Yeah? Uh, I've like lost the ability to speak and we're like five moves in. I can't, I was trying to think of words. It's like, what's the word for, I don't, oh. Can you feel that? I can feel that. Right, the next one is move to storage. Oh God. Um, right, <laughs> so what we're gonna be doing is, um, uh, feet uh, shoulder width apart. If you have weights, drop them by your feet. Now, if you don't have weights, this is still really hard. You can do it without weights. And if this is like way too easy, just pulse at the bottom and shush. Right, okay, so ready. Back flat, you're coming down. Imagine your hands are like touching your knees. You're gonna pick up the weight. Now, you can come all the way up. Now, if you're finding it really hard even with light weights, so remember, we're putting that butt back, butt back. Yeah, not like that, not like that, butt back. Ooh, I've got my pocket flap sticking out. Um, or if that's too easy, shush and try this. <laughs> just pulse, just at the very bottom of the move. Isn't that awful? <laughs> Come on, you've got to lift these things up. It's your own fault. Okay, there we go, see? Oh my God, right. Tuck away, oh, you know what was, I was trying to put a cool pack down my butt because it was so hot, but I thought maybe it would fly off mid-record, so perhaps not. Um, it's very hot today. Okay, next one is Sneaky Thief. So this one, a little bit like Bush Guttle, if you remember, if you know that one. So, <clears throat> shoulder width apart, you're gonna come down, <clears throat> but rather than going from like left to right, I want you to just crouch walk, basically, and actually, the more directions, now do it slowly, because I want twisted things. Um, just walk around. So you want to be sneaky. Look at me sneaking. Sneaking all over the place. Sneaking here, sneaking there. Okay? And actually, the more you like rotate and move in different directions, this is why stretching is so important beforehand. Um, it's really good. And if it's too hard, you just come up that little bit Higher, Whew, okay. Fun, I'm really tired. Okay, this one's called Save Your Medipacks. We are that thing where you finished a boss fight and <clears throat> you're like, oh yeah, I should really health up. And then you remember, you don't have to, you've got a bed, there are beds everywhere. So what we're gonna do is a crawl, not a crawl crawl, because a crawl crawl's like this. This is got a bear crawl, right? You've gotta lift your knees up. We're gonna do four of these and then you're gonna collapse on the bed, roll on your back and get back up, okay? So. One, do four of these, four, and then just give up. I don't care how you give up, you can give up like this. Oh, and just die, sleep, and then get back up again. And then we're gonna reset the move. So, so go down to, on your crawl like that, lift up. One, two, three, four, my bed, my bed. Ah, and dead, and then get back up again. All right, and then reset. Come on, we could do one more real quick. Okay. Uh, uh, dying. Uh, I, I killed all of those spare parts. I did it. Uh, yeah, fun. Um, next one is called Hidden Scene. Guess what we're going to use. I'm so sweaty. Um, guess what we're going to use to do that. Right. So this is going to reaction base. I'm going to call it. So I want you to stand, squat width apart, toes slightly out. You're going to basically go into a squat when I say that you're seen, and then when I say it's clear, you're gonna come back up again. Okay, so ready? <clears throat> seen. Now, depending on the height you are is the level of difficulty. The lower you go, the harder it is. Keep holding, and clear. Seen. Hold it. Go lower. Come on. Clear. Seen. Uh, I'm going lower and I'm regretting it de desperately. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is quite a leggy workout because you don't use muscles in space, so it's very important in case when you do get back onto terra firma, uh, you can actually run and you're not all spindly. Okay, <laughs> next one. This is the final one of this round. It's called Let's Talk. So feet, shoulder width apart. We're coming back into effective what is chair. Chair can be like legs really close together, but I prefer you to do it like this for now. Um, so butt back, 
back flat, sit into chair. So like you're sitting in a chair, okay? If you can get it, the more horizontal the better. It's really hard. But then I just want you to just, just listen. Oh, that's so interesting what you're saying. And then, oh my God, that's really interesting. If you have to bring your arms up here, also fine. But just listen, oh my God, it could be the worst conversation ever. You're suffering through it. But there is an awful lot of talking. Um, five more seconds, end of round one. Oh, I'm really sweating, so sweaty. Okay, okay, end of round one. All right, okay, oh, here we go. Right, we've got 30 seconds rest here. I do heartily recommend that you drink some water. I am very sweaty. Mm. So we're going all through that once more. I've still got, we've still got the 30 seconds of me explaining what it is. So effectively, it's like a minute of rest. So the bell will go in a minute and I'll explain the next move. Well done for making it through round one. Mm. Right. Now. Oh, wow. Well, I'm very, just generally moist. Okay, right, first move is got a jet. So remember we're doing fast feet, roughly eight, don't really care doesn't really matter and then one two three make them really big make them really small if you can't do it just do a little bounce little bounce keep it safe on the knees for now we can work up to bigger things later or the next time you do it so just start off and one two three it's a little spring my heels aren't touching the ground at all at any point I do love a jetpack who doesn't love a jetpack Although I would 100% die within about two minutes. Okay, come on, 10 more seconds. Little boost. We've got a jet, man, got a jet. Oh my God. Okay, right, next one is persuasion. So remember, it's that lunge forward, beg hands for a beg friend. All right, let's go. So feet shoulder width apart. When you lunge forward, come into your heel, you go down, try and keep this front leg as straight as possible, and then you're gonna beg. So you come in, keep it straight as possible. I moved the mirror this time so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, helpful. Because even I, yeah, it's useful to have a mirror. And the lower you go, please, please, I just, like, give me access to that warehouse to be a jerk. Come down, oh God, please. I really need you to just not be cool about this guy. Yeah, I really need to learn that persuasion system. Just give it to me. Normally I just make annoying noises until someone just gets so annoyed to give up. Okay, perfect. And again, with that, the lower you go, the harder it is, you can stay up much higher if you don't have that range of motion. All of these are fully adaptable, by the way, to just all that I really care about is that you're doing it and whatever version of that that you do. That's all that really matters. That's the only consistent thing you really need to do with exercise is just turn up. Anyway, as complicated as I've made this. Next one is touch. Oh, no, it's over encumbered. Big one. Right, so we're going down, back flat. We're walking about. Not like that, not like that. Nice and flat. Bum back. You should, you should feel your underbutt as you walk. Just, just touch your butt. It's okay. I won't judge. You can just feel it. Can you feel that? Feel that working? Feel that working right there, a little on the butt? Um, yeah, honestly, the only thing that really matters with fitness is as complicated as I've made these workouts, it's only because I want to make it fun. But actually, just doing any walking, any exercise, walking, like it could be as simple as that, is actually <laughs> like a lot of the time, a lot of what you need to do, even just walking all the time is great. But you know, people like to sell you stuff. I don't tell this, I just think it's fun. I want to work out like a cool video game character. That's the only reason why I did it. Next one is touch the artifact. So we are touching the artifact, then we're basically tripping balls, and we're lying on the floor, and then we're getting lost in a hole of some kind. You know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to say it. Okay, so, oh, what's that? Oh, let me just touch it. Oh my God. Oh. Now, when you come back, use your hands. Lower yourself down in any way you can that is comfortable, okay? Oh, what's that over there? Is it an artifact? Yes, it is. Oh, what is it? Oh, my God. I'm seeing visions. Visions. Okay. Now, it does just look like we're getting down to the floor and coming back up, but 
Let me tell you a little secret about getting down to the floor and coming back up again. It's actually like, it's mobility, it's abs. It does all manner of things. Like it works out a lot of stuff all at once for something that's seemingly quite straightforward, which is why a lot of my moves involve getting down to the floor and coming back up again. Anyway, right, oh, lock pick, oh crap, right. Yeah, these are only two kilogram and I'm gonna struggle. So we're holding them out straight and we're twisting those locks, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have children, my arms aren't that strong. So you can turn them. Yeah, so this is two kilograms and I struggle. It's a very particular skill set. Keep your knees nice and soft. Don't ridge it up when you're standing up. Keep them soft if you can. Um, it's a very particular set of muscles for this that weirdly I don't obviously ever seem to work out no matter what I do. I don't know, it's a really distinctive. You know, you can sit at the gym and be all like, oh, hey, blah, 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 but something about that. Oof, all right. Next one, I think I need one. Oh yeah, move to storage, right. So, we're coming down, we're bending down, putting our weights by our feet, get whatever weights you can. If not, you can do it with no weight and just pulse at the bottom, or you can do it with weights and pulse at the bottom. Up to you, really. So, we're pulling our butt back, our knees are coming down, and just imagine like your arms are straight, like straight hanging, and then you're picking up the weight like this, and then you're just, Hinging up, yeah? Hinging down, hinging up. Okay, little hingy hinge. Okay, ooh, ooh. There we go, like that. Um, if you don't have the full range of motion, that's okay. As I said, if it's really easy, just shush your mouth and pulse at the bottom and talk to me about it later. Or just change the weight also. Oh my God. There's something about the front of your legs on that one. Oh, even for half of it? Wow. Okay. Next one. Sneaker thief. So, chair effectively like so. There's lots of chairs in this. Um, come down, butt back again. Told you it was very leggy, this workout. But you're going to have amazing legs, so not terrible. So come down. And then I just want you to, it's just, it's just a crouch walk. However it feels comfortable. Yeah, don't overthink it. It may even be that you, you tilt up or right a little bit, feels a bit more comfortable. But just sneak about. Come on, be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Get a nice range of motion. Go stretch the legs if you feel comfortable to do that. But just try and keep it down for the whole thing. Got about like five more seconds or something. Yeah, roughly that. Come on, crouchy, crouch, crouch. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. um, stretching your back is also very important. Um, look up cat cow. That's probably the best back stretch if it's starting to feel a bit. Definitely put it into your routine. Always worth doing. Uh, just don't look anyone in the eye when you do it. It's a bit sexual. I'm not kidding. Uh, next one is save your medipacks. So it's the bear crawl. So we're starting in crawl position. Up again. Lift up the knees for four. Die in your bed. Roll your back and get up. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> My bed. I just, I can't fight anyone else. Okay, I'm back up again. Back down to crawl. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh. Again, I don't mind how you die. You can die any way you like. As long as you get back up again. Okay, we can do one more. Into there. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and then stand back up again. Realistic death there, I thought. Like the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The original. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, hidden and seen. So remember this one. I'm going to call it out. Feet slightly more than shoulder width apart. Toes a little bit out. You're going to come down to a squat to basically be hidden. But I'm going to tell you when you're seen and then you're going to duck. And then I'll tell you when it's clear and you can stand off again. And then we're basically, we've got like one more move and then we're basically done. I mean, I'm sort of glad because I'm rather sweaty. Okay, scene. Go lower if you can. Make sure it's comfortable. Look what it looks like from the side. Clear. Scene. Clear. Scene. <laughs> Hold it. Go lower if you can. Halfway through. Well, a bit over that. Clear. Scene. 
Hold it. Come on, a couple more seconds. You know I love to put you in a hold towards the end of a workout. That works. Right, one more move and then we're done. Hooray. Okay. So this is Let's Talk. It's going to be tough because your legs are going to be tired by this point. This is a very leggy workout. Um, but your legs are going to look amazing. Um, it's really early in the morning. <laughs> so we're going down into chair and we're holding it. We're going to go as low as we can. Get low as we can. If you can get almost horizontal, this is ideally where I want you to be, but also here is fine. And you're just going to listen. You can put your elbows underneath, he's like, oh, that's so fascinating. Come on, we've all suffered through really dreary conversations. And it is pain. It is pain. But, oh my God, my legs. Wow. Okay, like six more seconds. All right. Yeah, this is so fascinating. I'm not listening to this person anymore, like at all. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Okay, well, that was the Starfield workout. Um, I'm deeply sweaty. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. That was really fun to make. I've got some other Starfield workouts as well. Uh, one themed around space travel and another one themed around combat. Um, so yeah, check them out too. They're just as fun, um, work on slightly different things, but ultimately star themed, star themed, <laughs> Starfield themed. I don't know if doing these this early in the morning is really where and when, when I'm at my like peak, I think that comes much later. Anyway, but thanks for doing it. I really enjoyed this one and I will see you next time you work out. Bye. <laughs>